What if you could start everything over? Making over not just your home, but your entire town. Environmentally friendly, getting rid of all the uh, pollution and noise, getting rid of all the carbon emissions, the energy wasters, even the cars? Well, one town has found a way to do it. Here's ABC's senior foreign correspondent, Jim Shuto. As a city, Vauban, Germany, has everything. The tree-lined streets, the perfect houses. Everything except that one urban fixture of the last hundred years or so, cars. And residents don't mind one bit. We lived with a car. My wife had a car. I hired a car for, I think, 40 years at least. I don't miss it at all. For the Wagners, it's a perfect place to relax and retire. I joined them on a shopping run, Vauban style. So this is traffic. Right? Yeah, this is traffic. <laughs> Hello, Mom. For Gerlinda Schuwald and her twin boys, it's a perfect place to raise a family. I go to, to my work with the bike, and my kids go by bike. One of the first things you notice here is just how quiet it is without traffic noise. You hear birds singing, bicycle bells, children's voices, but you don't have that hum of cars in the background, and it makes a huge difference in your stress level. I think I can actually feel my blood pressure dropping. Bikes are almost religion. Kids pick them up even before they can ride one. But it's about much more. Boban is an environmentally friendly city of the future with organically grown food, renewable energy, and carbon neutral homes. People make more money by selling the electricity to the grid than they pay for, their, uh, for heat uh -huh. and hot water so and uh, electricity. So they produce more energy than, exactly. they, than they use? Yes. Vauban was nearly 20 years in the making, built on the site of a former military barracks, which residents and the local government bought and totally redesigned. Now it's attracting attention from around the world. Like the class of students from UC Davis we ran into, part of Professor Jeff Lux's sustainability course. So what can we learn from here that would actually be followed in yeah. the States? Well, from my point of view, the technologies are all transferable. I think what's difficult for us to, to really get a grasp on, especially in the American West, is the density. Of course, no one loves cars as much as Americans do, but if this can happen in Germany, home of Mercedes and BMW and the high-speed Autobahn, then maybe more Americans can go two wheels. After all, we did. For Good Morning America, Jim Shudo, ABC News, Boban, Germany.